Well, hello everyone on YouTube. Just wanted to make a video to discuss this nifty little product that I've come across called the Clearstream TV over the air television made wireless TV tuner. Uh, this is basically a Wi Fi TV tuner that lets you put your antenna anywhere you want in your house. And a couple of caveats right up front. So, the reason why I wanted one of these is a, I did not want to run wires from my attic where my antenna is all the way down to my entertainment center, which you're looking at right now. And B, the TV that you're looking at, we purchased about two months ago because our old TV died. And this TV does not have a tuner in it. So I would have had to run some sort of HDMI into this TV because there is no internal tuner. There's no co coaxial into this TV like our old TV has and like many TVs out there have. In fact, this is a newer 4K UHD TV and a lot of the newer models are not coming out with tuners internally. Um, as everything is going wireless and apps are included, you know, it, there really is less uh, need for having that type of input. So what I wanna do is kind of go over my setup, uh, how we're able to watch TV and show you the application uh, as it runs after doing the installation, which is relatively easy. Also, I wanted to let you know, I am located in Virginia, so I am in a valley, um, I sit about 1,500 feet above sea level, and the mountains around me are about 3,000. So uh, the other side of the mountain where I am uh, is Charlottesville, and to the north of me is Harrisonburg, and to the south of me is Lexington. So I am in the Stanton, Augusta, Waynesboro area. So I have access to essentially two towers, one of them up on Massanutten Mountain, and it's about 28 miles away, and the other one is in Craigsville, which is about 18 miles away. So um, my antenna has to face north, northwest, northeast to, to actually pick up all those. So with a little bit of help from directional uh, from my antenna, I was able to pick up basically all the stations that I'm allowed to get. And fortunately, I get CBS, NBC, Fox, and ABC, the main networks. Uh, so I just wanted to show you the setup where I've got. I'm in my living room now, and I'm going to walk all the way up to my attic and show you the device itself and how it's set up. So you'll see I am now in my attic and you can see there's a light on up here. Um, I actually have it set up rigged for this switch right here uh, to operate the light and we don't have any power outlets up here in the attic so um, I went ahead and rigged it to where I could have the clear stream device on at all times and so the reason why I have a piece of tape this is temporarily uh, there but a piece of tape is there to keep me from turning the light off. Now, the way I have it set up in my attic, as you can see, this light has a pull switch on it, and I've set it up to be basically the power source for the clear stream, so I can turn it off, and you see my wiring following all the way down here a few feet and down. I can turn the light off up here, but the power for the clear stream is still running. So, you can see that's kind of how I have it rigged. It's always gonna be running up here um, based on that switch. Now, clear stream device uh, in the living room area, as you see, it is directly over top of our living room. So uh, I'd say it's two floors up, and if I could guess, I'd say 16 to 20 feet, directly above my entertainment center. My entertainment center has my router, uh, it has my modem, it has the TV, as you saw, and a couple other uh, technology pieces over there. So the clear stream sits right here. It's suspended because it does get a little hot. But I have it connected to a coaxial cable, and that coaxial cable is about 25 feet long, but it only goes about 15 feet from the device all the way over to my antenna. And I'll walk you up the line. I'm gonna have my antenna actually mounted to one of the rafters in the attic. They say this thing, um, you know, based on where it's pointed, it's 60 mile antenna. It's the Clearstream, actually it's right here in this box, Clearstream TV. It says it's about 60 plus it'll actually pick up so it's well within the range to pick up towers from my home 
and you'll see there it is just sitting there mounted on the rafter facing the direction it needed to be facing uh, to pick up these stations um, and then walking it back to what back to where it was going coaxial coaxial all the way over the clear stream clear stream wireless sitting right above my router plugged into a drop cord drop cord runs up my attic connects to the light light powers on light powers off as needed and we'll go back down to the entertainment center and I'll show you the device itself on the Roku that we run okay so I'm back in my living room um, where I have my TV and as you noticed with the location where we have the clear stream it's directly above this so my Roku is my set top that is basically what I'm using for everything um, we are internet only at this point we don't have any phone or any TV services from our provider when we're located so we're using our Roku for basically everything app driven as most everyone else who's cut the cord is doing so that Clearstream device as I plugged it in I set it up with my phone installed the application on my phone set it up ran channel scan found let's say 17 channels which is about right for my location um, then on my Roku I installed this application Clearstream TV and I went through the process of adding some information to it you'll see as I load the app I'll show you some of the things that are in it went to the settings found my device I actually went into it and renamed it scanned for channels and I hit, once I hit scan for channels it picked up all of the channels that were scanned from my antenna that came in through my phone so as I go back you can now see the interface is pretty straightforward. There's nothing fancy about it, but um, one thing that I have noticed is it does have a guide, which is really nice. And so from here, this happens to be the first week of the NFL season, and I'm not going to turn on any of the NFL channels. But I will show you that the guide will come up with information uh, as you leave it here long enough. So um, you can see it's starting to populate based on some of the uh, shows that are on, on my local broadcasts. But going back over to the live TV itself, so you can see I'm about 20 feet through two floors from my Clearstream device, and I can go over to my local NBC channel, I can turn it on, and I'll just run it, and you can see how the performance is on this Roku. It takes just a moment to load. And that's it. So now I'm running NBC 29 uh, through my TV. I'll go back and I'll run another channel, just so you can see. This is the Fox channel, local Fox channel. And, you know, infomercials. But you can go through all the channels that are detected, and it's really straightforward. One thing that I did find when setting up my Clearstream device was... There are some things that you have to do to the device in order for performance with uh, your application. So I had to actually move this Clearstream device directly over top of my router because I was finding there was a little bit of a lag when running the high definition channels. But otherwise, it's a very straightforward device. There are several uh, tutorials on how to set these things up. But I just wanted to show you my setup to show you that it indeed does work and it works very well as an excellent solution for those that don't want to run wires through their house through the walls and don't want to cut holes in through the wall and also for those who don't have access to a coaxial into your TV uh, and you want to just run this as an application through some kind of multimedia streaming device like Roku or uh, like a fire stick so that's about it very straightforward and very nice um, love the device and I'm gonna give it high reviews uh, as soon as I can. Have a good day.